Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on Architectural Desktop, ADT 2007, in this particular lesson. And here we're going to learn how to create uh, a curved roof, and we can do more than curves. We can do really any type of uh, solid object that we can model using our uh, regular AutoCAD 3D solid modeling tools um, to create the roof and then we can extend walls up to that solid object and we have the choice of taking that AutoCAD solid object and I'm just using a shift middle mouse button here after I select that roof we can leave that roof as an AutoCAD solid object and extend the walls up or we can convert that solid object to a roof and then we can schedule it and treat it more like a roof object so it's really up to you I would say you might as well go all the way and convert the object to a roof but you have your choice because as long as you keep it as an AutoCAD solid you can do uh, editing um, of that object as an AutoCAD solid so you gain some advantage there and when you're finished and prepared you can convert that to a roof at at your leisure either way you can extend the walls up to the solid object or the roof object now just before I get started I'm going to reverse engineer and, and delete this roof and bring the walls back down and build it back up again I should point out that um, if you go to the um, cadclips.com web page and you scroll down we've got lots of free CAD clips here in particular we've got uh, 32 great AutoCAD 2007 3D lessons and these are all completely free all these lessons inside of here and specifically the AutoCAD um, solid modeling tools so I encourage you to go through there's no login or anything um, required to go in and download all these um, great CAD clips on uh, using AutoCAD solids and solid editing tools and then uh, once you master all this stuff then you will go back to your ADT and realize that creating this roof is probably one of the easiest things that uh, you can do so I'm just going to erase this roof click on it and erase and then I'm just going to go around one by one and pick these walls and you can use a filter tool to grab the walls if you have a busier um, um, set of objects and after I grab all those walls I'm simply going to go right click roof line modify roof line to get them to go up we use auto project to get them to come back down we do R for reset and reset okay shift middle mouse button you can see I've still got some windows that are sitting up high that I copied there but I'm just going to leave them there and now what I'm going to do is create some arcs and create the basic uh, extruded uh, roof object in AutoCAD and then convert it to a roof so uh, I'm going to start by just going to the front view on my view toolbar here and then I'm going to start by using just a basic arc tool A for arc clicking on here clicking here click over there and I'm done so I can say O for offset 18 inches this is basic AutoCAD right draw some lines okay you'll after you see all those CAD clips you'll learn different ways of uh, creating solid objects PE for polyline edit grab this J for join join these guys up and then I'm done okay that's now a join polyline and I'm just gonna take this and copy one over I'm just gonna say copy C for copy here and I'm gonna move that over by 75 feet enter because I know that when I move it back I can move it back by 75 feet and it'll be in the same place now I'm going to do another line over here very basic just to, for the front part which isn't as long as the back part of this roof so I'm going to draw a line from there basic AutoCAD trim this away okay PE for polyline edit this J for join join these guys up enter so now I've got my front part and I've got my rear part okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at these in the top view okay and there they are there because I wasn't paying attention to my plane I was drawing on which is fine and all I'm going to do is take this arc here and I'm going to move this guy back to about there M for move click this guy move him to be about there okay now I can go look at this in 3d and I can take those and extrude them so I'm going to do a shift middle mouse button so I can kind of get a little better angle here okay oh this guy needs to move over there which is fine I'm going to use my extrude tool off my dashboard extrude this enter and then I can take that and extrude that over 
extrude it a little more than what you're probably going to need. Okay, then I can do the same thing, extrude this guy, enter, and I can extrude that one over to there. Okay, then I can go back to my top view. You can do this in different order. M for move this, and to move that back by 75 feet. Okay, then I'm going to union these guys. Oh, look, I'm not extruded far enough there, so I'm going to click on here, grab that, and turn my O snap off. Oh, it's not working. Let's try this from another angle over here. Shift middle mouse button. Click on there. Grab that. Extrude that out. A little more of an overhang. Escape, escape. Okay. Then I can now shift middle mouse to get a little better view. And now I'm going to union those two objects together by going to my dashboard. Union this guy and this guy. Enter. And now I have what is my AutoCAD solid object roof and then i'm going to zoom in here and pan around so i can see all my walls and now the easy part click on on all the walls one at a time and again you can use filtered tools from our properties toolbar okay oh miss that and then shift to grab because i don't need that roof okay so i have all the walls selected right click okay back to my floor roof line Modify roof line, A for auto project, read the command line, and then auto project up to there, enter, and there are my walls. For the most part, we're done. Okay, so now I can leave that as an AutoCAD solid object, because that way I can edit it as a solid object, etc., and use all those great tools that you've learned from the other CAD clips. Or to go the full distance, I can click on that solid object, I can right click, and I can say convert to roof slab and then delete original I'm gonna say yes it's up to you this is the roof type I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit OK and now I've got a roof and that will schedule as a roof and list it as a roof object okay you'll find that your um, grips are a little bit limited you can't grab that and pull that overhang out like you can with a normal roof but you uh, so you do have some limitations, but the main thing is you can get the roof object drawn any way you want. And this can really, this happens to be, you know, a, an extruded arc type object, but you can do whatever you want as far as creating solid objects and uh, extend the walls up to the underside of that. And then the, um, the walls will uh, attach to the bottom of the roof and you can leave it as a, a roof or an AutoCAD object. Now, incidentally, if this wall happens to come out to here, okay, you can do that, okay, and that, that will extend out. If I right click on this, I'm going to go back in here, roof line, edit roof line, and I'm going to say reset. I'm going to bring that line wall back down. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to click on this wall. I'm going to right click, roof line, modify, A for auto project, and pick here. And you'll notice that it only auto projects up to the part that intersects with it. Okay, so if you want to, you can extend it up and then pull it out the way I did it the first time, and it'll keep that full height wing wall. Or if you leave it back um, down at the bottom, pull it out first, and then auto project, it'll only auto project the part that actually intersects with the roof. So that's really up to you, and you can experiment with that. So. There's our lesson on creating some cool um, curved roofs in Architectural Desktop 2007.